Hello, welcome back to the Career Chat with the CCPD. In this uh, segment, we're gonna be talking about experiential learning. There's lots of different types of experiential learning and even kind of, uh, we wanna try to clear up the different types and as well as kind of what constitutes experiential learning. Just from a broad overview, experiential learning is really anything where you're going to gain that practical knowledge and experience that will hopefully lead to you being able to make better decisions on what you want to do full time. So my advice with experiential learning is really to start your process early, start experiential learning early. And there's also in our uh, handbook, which again, I'll promote that again, we have it online as well as you can pick up a handbook. We have a lot of different things about what you should be doing each year uh, regarding your experiential learning. And, and Cindy, Susan, and Katrina are going to be talking a little bit more about that. But again, starting early with those little opportunities, maybe getting involved on campus. We're going to talk more about job shadowing, volunteering, and internships specifically. But even studying abroad, doing undergraduate research. Um, there's a lot of those things and we recommend doing as many as possible. So I'm going to first kick it over to Katrina uh, to talk a little bit more about another type of opportunity that you can get, gain experience doing. One of the other opportunities that you can be engaged in is volunteering. However, I like to call it service leadership. And that's where you have a heart to serve others but it also expands your leadership skills. It's an excellent way to connect with the community, make uh, lifelong friendships, and contribute to a cause that you care about, and learn new skills, and it also strengthens your resume all at the same time. So it's a great opportunity to get out there and serve. Um, maybe Some of the work may be experience or entry-level work, but you can always learn from each and every experience that you participate in. So go do a service leadership. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Katrina, go ahead, Cindy. Uh, well, one type of experiential learning that I think is really important is job shadowing. Uh, and job shadowing allows you to spend time with a professional in a position that you think you would like to someday do. And while you're doing this experience, you're gaining insider knowledge, you're learning what kind of projects and responsibilities might be involved in this type of position, and you are building up your network and establishing credibility with a trusted professional in the field. So um, I think job shadowing is, is very valuable because some students through job shadowing have found that the position that they were most excited for, they really did not enjoy that much. Um, on the other hand, the, the job shadowing experience that they were not most excited for really changed their career path here at the university. So it's a great way to expose you to many different opportunities and assist you in determining what you want to do while you're here. Very good. Thanks, Cindy. Mm -hmm. All right, Susan, you're up. Thank you. Um, whether you find an internship on your own or through our office, we urge all students to report their internship, whether it be for credit or no credit. And there's many different reasons why. Um, the one, uh, my favorite, of course, is that we host the internship recognition dinner every spring. And we recognize um, the interns and the employers from the last three semesters. Um, we send out nomination forms to the employers so that they can nominate those students that went over and above what was expected of them during the internship. Um, and through that process, a winner is chosen as intern of the year. And the grand prize is a $500 check for you to do whatever you want with. So that's a wonderful opportunity. Another thing that we do with the information um, that you, when you report, is we keep a spreadsheet of all the employers, where you internship, and different things like that. And um, what we like to do with that is we reach out to employers in case they would like another intern from the University of Finley. So it really does help out future Oilers as well. And over the years, by collecting this information, um, we've been able to verify the impact that internships truly have on students. That's, I mean, that's great advice. It really is 
any type of experiential learning is, is valuable. But again, that perceived value, um, I would say going out and doing those internships. And I think that that's what most people think of when they think of experiential learning, they just think of an internship or clinical or student teaching, depending on the, uh, the major that you're in. Uh, but actually going out and doing the specific thing, the, dis the specific job responsibility that you think that you want to do is super valuable in order to be able to, to gain that practical experience. But it, again, it, it starts with the, the service learning, the volunteering, the job shadowing, even just doing informational interviews, uh, an informational interview and talking with somebody that is in the career field or doing the, or even in the specific employer, uh, working for the employer in that job function that you think that you wanna do, all of that is super valuable in order to be able to help you target what you, what you think that you wanna do to gain those and build those relationships so that it's gonna set you up for future success. Thanks again for joining us for this edition of the Career Chat regarding experiential learning. We'll see you next time.